Lord Jesus Christ, y'all. I just got to give this urgent message to everybody abroad. Try to get this message to as many people as you can. Um, this brother works from the Ghetto Gospel uh, Ministries, theghettogospel.com. And I see a problem going on. There's too many videos exposing Halloween. And yes, it's good to expose the darkness. But I mean, after a while, we should all get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same YouTubers do the same videos every single year. We need to switch up. We need to educate and teach the saints of God how to pray against the powers of darkness. Not just expose them on a video and then walk away. It don't work that way. We have to, we have to speak a word to convict these fake Christian parents that are actually participating in this wicked day. Anton LaVey said he's happy. That at least Christians celebrate the devil once a year. See, you don't have to believe it, but it doesn't stop it from being the truth just because you don't believe it. Human beings are really sacrificed in this season right now. For the next few months it goes on for, especially in this month. And this is why so many children are missing, women are missing, prostitutes, even men go up missing. This is a, this is not, this is an organized criminal, you know what I'm saying, group of people known as the Luciferians and the Satanists. And they all work together. Witches and warlocks, sorcerers. You have, you have some that are ignorant. They think they good witches. Brother, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm a witch and we don't kill people. You're, you're just ignorantly a witch and you have no clue what goes on at the top. It's no different than Freemasonry. The, the 31st, 32nd, and 33rd degree are the ones who know what it's really about. Children are sacrificed. Women are sacrificed and all type of other evil things. These victims die terribly bad, suffering. Because they believe the more a child suffers and, 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 and is in pain, it does something to the blood. It makes it a bigger high for the Satanists and the Luciferians. So, Alistair Crowley said in his book that the best sacrifice is not an animal. It's a young male child of high intelligence. And look at all the celebrities that rep Alistair Crowley. Jay-Z, do what thou will. I'm not going to get into it all. Y'all should know all that by now. My question is, if you were a Christian, God forbid, you were at a bus stop and an old friend came and, hey, you need a ride. You felt weird about it, but you hopped in the whip. Yeah, I got to get to work. If he came out, as he, if he pulled over at a corner store, he said, y'all be right back, dog. Bang, bang, you hear screaming and shots and he comes out running with a bag of money and he shot the, the corner corner store uh, clerk and he driving and the police pull y'all over. He crashed. You, what do you want to tell the cops? Oh, no, nah, I didn't know. Nah, he would tell that person you're going away for accessory. You're going to have to work it out in court, prove it in court because to, to us, you knew. So you're an accessory. Why would you even want to celebrate or even sugarcoat celebrating? You know, you little fake. Some of y'all got some fake little soft cupcake pastors that want to do harvest night. Trunk a tree in the church, par church parking lot. You will be held an accessory because there is murder taking place during this time. It ain't just, oh, you dress up. Yeah, I mean, it's bad enough. They dress up in all type of witchcraft and monsters and goblins and all of that and go door to door, trick or treat. They don't even know where that where that came from. The workers of evil back then, witches and sorcerers, they would take human fat, make it into candles and they would light it on someone's step. And they, they, ha they said, you have to give us one of your children. Or get cursed. Or you would be cursed. And I've heard many different folklores and things. Whatever's accurate. Look at I study the word. I better be accurate with that. But I know there's too many testimonies of witches and ex-Satanists who got saved. 
and testify to the human sacrifice that goes on. Testify to the real demons that manifest. And you want to compromise and take your child trick or treating or trunk or treating at the fake little big, big size mega church in the parking lot. Harvest night where you hand out the seed, the seed of the gospel candy coins. You think God is going to be, you're going to provoke the Lord to anger. So I pray I can reach you. If you're a Christian, now if you lost, repent and get saved, bro, sister. The last thing you need to be worried about is some candy. You need to get saved. You ain't promised tomorrow. But this message really is to the church. That's who I'm coming at. Because the world don't know no better. The world is the world. That's what worldly people do. Enough with this compromise. You know all the holidays, but you ain't no have no clue about one of God's holy days. Saints of God, I want to pray with you. I want to show you a brief outline prayer that you do and send this video to as many as you can to do as well. Okay, that way it's not a viral video to go viral. I want it to go viral in the church. Okay. And if one of your little fake deacons or pastors got a problem with it, they can go to the ghettogospel.com and email me. It ain't all that serious. Who is that guy? He looks angry. Yeah, you better believe it. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked all day long. I'm as joyful as I could be around my family. I'm as joyful as I could be around true brothers and sisters in the Lord. But God is angry with the wicked. And how much more angry will he be? With those who claim to be Christians, but yet celebrate wickedness. Celebrate a day where children are tortured, literally. Literally tortured because they believe they get a greater high from the blood. For the true saints of the Most High God, I am talking to y'all that believe. Y'all that know what I'm saying is the truth. It's the truth whether people believe it or not. Jesus Christ is the Lord God of heaven and earth. He died for our sins and he rose from the dead on the third day. Saints of the Most High God. The Lord is calling us to learn how to pray. Learn how to fast. The Bible says cry aloud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. So I want you to do this prayer with me. And I want you to do this prayer as much as you can within this season. And those that you know will appreciate this message. Send it to them. I want you to say this with me. First off, we need to repent. Follow me now. Come on. In the name of Jesus Christ as I follow Christ. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Forgive me of all my sins known and unknown. Wash me in your holy blood. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe you died on the cross and on the third day rose from the dead. Conquering death, hell and the grave. And breaking the power of Satan. Lord Jesus Christ, please Lord. I want to be born again. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 17, Lord. Wash me in your holy blood, 1 John 1, 7. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that through your blood I am sanctified and justified and made holy. I believe that through the blood of Jesus Christ I have peace with me and God the Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I want to live a life of holiness and righteousness. I want to serve you. I want to obey you. I want to deny myself and carry the cross. Help me, Lord. I don't want to pretend. I want to be the real deal when it comes to a believer. Lord Jesus Christ, fill me and grow the fruit of the Holy Ghost, the nine fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. Grow in my spirit. I want the same mind that was in Christ Jesus, according to Philippians 2.5. Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive all those who have hurt me and did evil to me. I forgive and I release them. I rip out any root of bitterness, Lord. Heal my wounds. Wash me with your oil and wine. I repent of unforgiveness and bitterness. Because to you, for you to forgive me, I must forgive them. And I also repent for the sins of my fathers and the sins of my mothers, my forefathers and foremothers. I break every generational curse in the name of Jesus Christ and I renounce all of the occult, 
whether it was done through my forefathers and mothers or knowing or unknowing through me at any time. I renounce the occult. I break any contracts, any agreements I've ever made with Satan. I break the agreement and I break the contract in Jesus Christ's name. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I come against and bind and break all principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. All witchcraft, sorcery, magic, divination, spells, voodoo, astral projection, enchantments, encampments, incantations, divination, Jezebel, Ahab, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, obeya, shantaria, voodoo, shamanism, Powers of the Illuminati, Freemasonry, Sorcery, New Age Movement, False Religions and their Doctrines. I bind all of these things and I break them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Demons and evil beings and fallen angels and Satan is subject unto thy name, O Lord Jesus Christ. You said in according to Mark 16, 17 and Matthew 18, 18, by your prophecy, we can crush the head of serpents, scorpions, break the powers of wickedness. Whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth will be loose in heaven. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the same way King David used Goliath's sword to behead Goliath, I turn the enemy's weapons against himself in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to Acts 16, the same way Paul commanded the witchcraft demon to come out of that woman, that python spirit to come out of that witch, I command all python spirits, divination spirits, witchcraft spirits, and demons and witches and warlocks, giving them power, I command you to come out worldwide the same way jesus could pray for somebody without being there physically we can do everything he did he said i do it right now i strip witches and warlocks of their powers all the powers they inherited all the powers they worked hard to get through doing evil evil deeds and sacrifices i break their powers in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ right now the same way the word of God states that Paul ripped the spirit of divination out of that witch. And she was no longer able to work her witchcraft powers. Same way I do it right now in Jesus Christ's name. I send confusion to the enemy's camp. The same way the scripture says that the enemy fought against each other when the power and glory of God manifested. I send, I send division in the camp of Satan that they will fight each other and fall because a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I worship you, Lord, and I thank you for giving power to us, even when we don't deserve it. But through your blood, Jesus Christ, we now receive it joyfully. I pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I stand in the gap for the victims of kidnap right now. As a servant of the Most High God, I place myself supernaturally in Christ, far above in the heavens, looking down on earth, above every principality and power, having authority over them. I bind up their powers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same way Jesus Christ cursed that fig tree and the fruit died. I curse the fruit of all witches and warlocks and sorcerers. I curse the fruit of the evil holiday of Halloween. I curse it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wither away. Be fruitless now. Be fruitless now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse the demon of Samhain in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right now, I come against all fear manifested in this season. All unbelief and doubt, I bind you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, saints of God, continue in prayer. Every portal, every demonic portal opened up through human sacrifice, whether child, man, or woman. I close the demonic portals right now supernaturally. 
Jesus Christ has the keys of David. He can shut a door that no man or evil being can open and he can open a door that none can shut. I shut every portal being open through human sacrifice right now. I shut it. I break the blood sacrifice power in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Right now. I shut every portal that has been opened up and will be opened up. May you be shut. I send every demon back where you came from. Every Nephilim spirit, interdimensional beings go back where you came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. The name above every name. Yahshua the Mashiach. Jesus of Nazareth. Emmanuel, son of the living God is against you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray for the children that have been kidnapped The women and men that have been kidnapped Lord send angels to fight for them Somehow some way Lord Loosen them get them out of there God Lord Jesus Christ Bring those things in darkness into the light Lord And the actual human beings that are working for Satan The physical children of Satan Lord blind them on the road to Damascus like you did Paul Whatever Damascus is Whatever road is there Damascus Blind them on If they're looking for children If they're looking to kidnap Blind them on the road to the Damascus Lord Stumble them in their plans oh God Stop them oh God Expose them oh God That the children and the men and women can be rescued In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord, I come before your throne, your courtroom, pleading my cause. Oh, God, with my mighty advocate, Jesus Christ, is standing in defense. Lord, fight the enemy, Lord Jesus Christ. Rain down fire and brimstone, God the Father. Destroy these workers of iniquity, God the Father. These evil beings, these evil spirits, these, these principalities and powers, bind and break them, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Father God, right now. Right now, through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the same way Paul blinded Elimus the sorcerer, I sent blindness to the witches and warlocks abroad, blindness to the magicians and the voodoo priests and all workers of all forms of the occult and witchcraft and black and white magic and Satanism and Luciferianism, blind in Jesus Christ's name, Lord, blind them that they will look for someone to lead them by the hand and repent in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, convict these fake preachers and, and fake ministries that celebrate and sugarcoat and water down this holiday and act like it's okay and acceptable to celebrate. Convict their heart, Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cause them to repent for, for compromising and selling out. For being a pleaser of man and not a pleaser of God. And Lord, bless those that are in the fight. Bless those... Give them strength in their prayer closets. Men and women of God, activate the prayer warrior in us, and oh, oh God. Watchmen's on the wall, oh God. Sounding the trumpet, crying aloud and sparing not in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, activate the mighty men and women of God to speak the word of God to people and bring conviction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah. We cast down all demonic altars. We cast you down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we break every curse and every spell. We break you off of the people. Everything divine through the television. Everything divine through the internet. Scary this, horror this, demon this, murder this, monster this. We break that fantasy. We break those attacks in the mind of the hearers in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall not fear. Perfect love cast away fear. And Lord, protect your bride. Protect the church. Shield her wherever she is. Those in this ministry, protect our partners, our brothers and sisters. And protect our brothers and sisters all across the earth. Increase their power to wage war against Satan and proclaim the beautiful gospel of Jesus Christ. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, marriage, family, and in this ministry, and every tongue that rises against us in judgment, we condemn. This is our inheritance. And the Lord Jesus Christ is our righteousness, is our defense, is our power, is our authority. It is not by our might, nor by our strength. It is by thy spirit, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release this violent prayer against Satan and his kingdom with the with the words of our mouth as a launching pad, the weapons of a warfare, not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray this prayer. Amen. Saints of saints of God. 
please stay on point. Be aware. It's not a game. Okay? And and don't just let it be the season of Halloween. You should be on point year round. How much do you pray? How much do you fast? Do you study to show yourself approved? Do you fellowship? If you're a part of this ministry, we need to know you. We need to know who you are. You need to fellowship. You need to get rooted in the word. You need to stay on the rock of Christ because he's coming back soon. It's a, it's, 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 listen, we running out of time. Take this walk serious in Jesus Christ's name and pray for us as we pray for y'all. Shalom. To the Lord, the Holy Lamb, who was really a lion. Sometimes I sit back and wonder like bread. Man, there really was a monster living under the bed. Man, these rappers on the TV ain't really what they seem. They perform seances and summon the dead. Perform witchcraft spells in the music that you listen to. And you wonder why evil runs through your head. Ah! These rappers know what they doing When they got you dancing and moving They putting spells on you, spells on you Wake up, them putting spells on you And you wonder why your heart's so cold And you can't pray cause your mind's so frozen They putting spells on you, spells on you Wake up, them putting spells on you Judgment is so near, you can feel it in the air Tell them Jesus Christ is coming, but no one really care War is declared, good against evil People wake up, them putting spells on I'm you I'm screaming in the woods, if someone would listen Trying to save a soul in the slum with addiction Half the people that I talk to, I know my prescription And every Halloween, children coming up missing And why you having fun with religion? I'm fighting Witches that perform spells using blood from a chicken I never take back what I say cause I meant it man Watch your mouth, don't play with the veteran